Hello, my name is Paul Stoll. The story I'm about to show you could be real inspirational and give hope to over 350,000 vets and the more than 1.5 million Americans yearly that sustained a traumatic brain injury and their caregivers. Additionally, you could turn this topic into a story of hope. What makes this book I've written so compelling and why getting my words of hope out so urgent right now is our wounded warriors are returning home from combat each day with traumatic brain injuries. I know you are aware of how integral hope is to the outlook of one's future. Only those that have had to fight to live with a traumatic brain injury can really know how difficult it is to cope with the simplest things in life, much less returning to a full life, a life of self-sufficiency. Having lived through a traumatic brain injury and having been so very fortunate to regain as much as I have, I told myself long ago that I needed to help as many people as possible who, has also, who have also suffered this fate without the good fortune I've been given. So I want to ask you, won't you please help me get the word of hope out to the hundreds of thousands of our wounded warriors and the millions of civilians that have to live with this unfortunate condition plus all their caregivers? Won't you try to help me, help our country and all those I've talked about in this hopeful way? Meet Paul Stoll. He's now 28 years old. You may remember Paul. In his third year of medical school at Michigan State University, Paul was on his way to a conference in Alexandria, Egypt, when tragedy struck. The taxi he was riding in hit a bus head on. It was the beginning of an entirely different journey. Paul was in a coma with multiple fractures, a traumatic brain injury, and a medical report written in Arabic. The head of the neurology team, Dr. David Kaufman. This was a, a young guy who was uh, very close to death. Uh, he was in a taxi cab that was hit by a bus and had a head trauma serious enough to place him in coma for weeks. And in addition, had a serious loss of blood. He is determined. He has a real strong desire. He's very persistent. And he sets his sights on goals, and he's going to do just about anything he can to get there. I used to be on the extreme and live life on the edge, and now I have come off of that edge, and I'm trying to find solid ground to stand on. Paul has this, this way of looking at things. He has this real excitement about life, and I think he views, on some level, he's starting to, this whole thing as an adventure, because he liked to take a lot of adventures before his accident. So I think he's taken a lot of things from his pre-injury life and learned how to fit them into what he's doing now. Doing a balancing act on the balance beam. It may be tough for just about anyone. Involved in a conversation that I'll bet lasted an hour, maybe even two. Not only the differences, what it's like to be a, disability, a person with a disability, but the differences in our disability. His being head injury and all the implications that go with that, and mine being uh, paraplegia. We went to Cuba and had a great time. We were roommates, got to know each other pretty well, and that was an ex a very successful event. And this finishes my presentation on sperm production. I would like to hand the floor over to Emma, who's going to talk about histology, pathology, and PT application. So without further ado, here's Emma. <laughs> I just have to say that of all the people I've known in my life who uh, are trying to make the best of their lives given whatever circumstances they are, uh, that Paul has become much more than a friend to me and I would have to say basically in summary that uh, Paul Stoll is truly a hero of mine. Hello again. 
I wanted to end this DVD by updating you with my current employment situation. Since 2008, I'm a fully successful, full-time intake advocate for the IRS's Taxpayer Advocate Service. I also wanted to thank you for reviewing this DVD and potentially helping me get my words of hope out to the millions of Americans that are dealing with this difficult condition. Thank you.